Bank of, Inter Bank of England interest rate decision. Sorry about the delay here, but I keep having issues with GoToWebinar. I still keep getting uh, lock-in issues, then the uh, uh, kind of uh, waiting time here, then the audio connection issues. I don't know, just uh, uh, talking or will talk after the session here with my colleagues to kind of find out what's going on. Now, also auf Deutsch, äh, dauerhaft hier immer noch die gleichen Probleme bei GoToWebinar. Rechner lief die ganze Zeit, vor etwa zehn Minuten versucht mich hier einzuloggen. Allerdings äh, lässt mich die Software mit der Sanduhr stehen und dann am Ende auch noch die Audioverbindung. Das heißt, erst nach mehrfachem äh, Starten kann es hier also losgehen. Gucke weiterhin, was passiert und wie wir natürlich der Lage hier ein Stückchen weit äh, Herr werden können. Was haben wir insgesamt? Jetzt die Leitzinsentscheidung der englischen Notenbank. Vielleicht kurzer Umweg, Blick hier auf die Nocki-Krone. Die rauscht nämlich fleißig auf der Short-Seite nach unten. Schöne Handelsposition hier. Also in dem Fall sieht der Markt für uns gar nicht so schlecht aus. Und das bedeutet jetzt im Stünder, werden wir den stop -Loss anpassen und hier auch ein bisschen von der Handelsposition herausnehmen. Machen wir mal zwei Kontrakte hier platt und äh, freuen uns schon einmal auf ein wenig Handelsgewinn hier für den heutigen äh, Tag. So, einmal kurz hier die äh, Marktbewegungen auf Null setzen. Trendlinie durchbrochen, äh, riecht also ein Stückchen weit nach weiteren Abgaben. Ja, so this smells like a further delay towards the downside. And could give us obviously the potential to face further negative price momentum. Bank of uh, Europe, I wanted to say here, European Central Bank is what's coming up in next. And expectation, whoa, kind of in a way muted. The market could give us uh, two things. We are now on the, the verge of uh, breaking lower in the euro. That's uh, interesting. Um, sorry, I said Bank of Europe. I mean, of course, Bank of England here. Bank of Europe and uh, the pound itself is also uh, trading somehow better, but has offered us a bit of a positive price momentum. Sieht also gut aus wiederum hier. Der Markt könnte sich jedenfalls uh, jenseits dieser uh, Handelszone eventuell ein Stückchen weit auf der oberen Seite weiter bewegen. Positiv entsprechend hier die Preistendenz, das heißt für mich erst einmal direkt in das Nachrichtenereignis vielleicht uh, reinzukaufen mit der Möglichkeit eventuell hier positive Preise zu handeln. Yeah, so it looks uh, positive here. It looks like uh, the market turns potentially here towards some higher levels, at least the pound towards the pound is concerned. We can observe that this market is turning towards uh, uh, previously resistant um, areas. Let me quickly do, no, um, this one I've updated. I've updated the Euro uh, Noki trade. Um, having a look on the stock markets, they are starting to push slightly um, to the upside. So the S&P 500 uh, keeps on uh, gaining momentum towards the uh, higher level. The uh, Nasdaq is also pushing towards a slightly higher market environment. And also the Dow Jones is pushing higher. This looking kind of good here and potentially offering us uh, a price momentum towards uh, the upside. The silver and gold market is uh, not turning a uh, uh, kind of bearish. Again, the market is turning uh, highly and uh, uh, and uh, this market momentum is uh, giving us some upside potential and the market uh, is uh, obviously uh, pushing towards yeah sorry my colleagues are kind of pushing me um <clears throat> one second one second Um, so the market here, the silver market is uh, pushing higher, which is also interesting. A dollar weakness, seemingly what I would expect to last year, and hence I kind of uh, am a firm believer that the pound trade to the upside uh, could work out. Similarly to the uh, gold market, um, of course, two things are interesting also for us here. One trade has been stopped out. That's the uh, dollar Japanese yen short market. Still, I have somehow uh, hope that this market could turn a bit to the downside. So the Japanese yen somehow not. Uh, moving much. The pound against the uh, Japanese yen, on the other hand, is also uh, pushing higher. So the pound clearly giving us a positive feedback. The problem is for me, I don't see any further pound weakness right now in this current market environment. Might be wrong. Obviously here, the pound against the Japanese yen could kind of really uh, fall off the cliff again in this uh, and so around, uh, um, around this area. 
but the market environment, of course, in this vicinity could also push through and beyond this market resistance. Obviously, two things. We could also find an argument that this area here where we are trading at right now, it could be failing. The market could turn lower and that obviously could, uh, could cause the market momentum to be on the uh, weaker side. Yet, on the other hand, I still believe that the uptrend here is seemingly, uh, of course, of interest for us here. But of course, if we're looking at it from the other perspective here, there's nothing much we can do. And hence, I would say we should trade the market here in and from the pound perspective towards the upside. And hence, I think this market is just uh, what we could and what we should trade here accordingly for the market momentum here right now. Kind of, in a way, a bit supported. That's at least what we can observe here. News-wise, if we are looking at it from uh, the economic calendar in the next uh, three minutes here, the interest rate decision might not give us anything much. Of course, it's going to be interesting how the market momentum is going to be adjusted. Chase facility likely remaining the same. And of course, the uh, change on unchanged uh, um, votes here is likely going to stay at similar levels. So we'll see how, of course, any one of these guys towards uh, a what hike momentum market environment here, it could give uh, the pound some strategic advantage. And of course, hence uh, then it could cause this market to blow through the uh, upside. I'll say with my trade, it's uh, not the biggest position, but I think uh, we could see uh, some sort of opportunity here and could see and face market momentum towards higher the levels. Ne? Also, deutsche Sprache kurz, uh, das Pfund sieht so ein bisschen nach oben. Wir sehen hier, oder ich sehe aktuell hier jedenfalls Aufwärtspotenzial nach diesen kleinen Rücksetzer. Wir sind hier auf guter Unterstützungszone erst einmal gelandet. Das heißt, der Markt könnte sich vielleicht natürlich jetzt hier in den nächsten Minuten weiterhin aufwärts bewegen. Ich sehe auch deswegen keine weitere Bewegung hier auf der Long-Seite, denn auf der Long-Seite könnte natürlich hier äh, der Markt äh, das, äh, das ganze Thema hier weiterhin in der nächsten Minute äh, natürlich klar für uns äh, äh, ganz klar bestimmen. Äh, ansonsten, wir haben keine äh, Bank of England Minutes, wir haben keine um, a kind of press conference. We don't have a press conference in the end, so that's uh, not going to give us any further opportunities. I would say here, after right after this uh, webinar, of course, we are soonish jumping over to the European Central Bank interest rate decision that's going to uh, shape up our market move also uh, later on. So the question remains the same on how we uh, kind of see and get this opportunity here out of this trade. A few pips to the upside. Hopefully, at least, uh, is what I would look for. And hence, I would say, let's see and observe how we can kind of uh, move this market uh, potentially. Euronoki working on higher. The pound is in a minimalistic profit here so far. So that's at least what I would look for here for now. As I said, push to the upside is my expectation. So we'll see how uh, and we how we can get this here going in the next couple of minutes. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what goes here. I'm jumping around, a few pips higher. Hopefully the expectation. Yup, da zieht der Markt nach oben. Okay, machen wir mal. Machen wir mal. Da machen wir noch gar nichts. Das sieht gut aus. Zwei Kontrakte schon mal dicht gemacht, Stop Loss nachgezogen. Das ist, glaube ich, das, was wir hier machen wollen. Und dann schauen wir mal, ob wir hier noch ein bisschen mehr rausziehen äh, können. Okay. Just updating uh, the market here on uh, Telegram. Where do we have the take profit? 3370.
All right, guys, I'll leave this on here. Stop losses at entry. We took most of the profit out of the market. If the market goes higher, I think we can observe later. Yeah, ja, also, bewege mich jetzt hier mal. Stop loss zum Einstand und äh, Markt zieht weiter nach äh, oben. Was hat äh, Andreas gerade geschrieben? Ähm, Zins 0,25 zum 10 äh, Prognose, sagt Andreas. Achtelig. Ähm, ja, the market, it looks quite positive. We'll see if we, and we can follow up with this uh, trade here at the ECB interest rate decision. Guys, thanks for tuning in. See you later, everyone. Bye-bye.